and we're back. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I could have caught used to cough at the worst point. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, he's given, uh, to be fair, I picked up this illness from my from my mother, who's been quite unwell with it. I would like to point out that I was ill <clears throat> about two days after you left. Nothing to do with me, man. Were you spitting in my mouth while I was asleep? I put more in your mouth than spit, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, I'm just kidding ah. you good people. God. Ah. Okay. The Walking Dead. Holy shit. Spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. There will be spoilers. If you guys bitch about the spoilers, I swear to God, I will kill you. So we're going to be spoiling one, episode one to eight. That's right, isn't it? Correct. One to eight of season three of The Walking Dead. And to be honest, we'll probably be spoiling... We're to be talking about stuff from season one and season two. So, if you're not up to date on The Walking Dead, which what I don't know why you're not, like seriously. What the fuck is wrong? Um, with you? First of all, get <laughs> first of all get yourself to a clinic. And yeah. get, get yourself, yourself checked sorted. For, get yourself checked for stupid addicts. Am I right, my friends? <laughs> Please never say that again. <laughs> stupid, stupid addicts. <laughs> laugh, laugh, God damn it! Oh my God, actually, well, just before we get into it. Anyways, yes, Walking Dead. Fuck right. your penis, and what is it? Uh, we, so we're doing an overview here, mainly focusing on our last episode, last few episodes. Yes. Um, best TV show of all time. Full start. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> this, Incorrect. It, w- Blackadder is the best TV no, show. No, this of all time. is the best TV show. I'm of all time. sorry, you're fundamentally wrong. I, I'm not fundamentally wrong. This dude. Eh, tell me right now that after every episode of The Walking Dead, you go, "Oh my god, that was fucking amazing." There's a few episodes. Incorrect. Of- of season three, yes, there are two seasons. I'm only prior, talking about season three right now, but you can't classify it as the best TV show of all time based on one season. I can talk about this season, I can. Yes, I can. No, you can't. You can't classify Actually, our I entire fucking love television. The first and it's like second season anyway as well. Yeah, I love them. I'm saying right now, third season is the best season of TV I've ever seen in my life. No, back and it goes fourth for me. Personally, that was a good one. But I feel there's one, I feel there's one week episode in that, and right now there hasn't been one. What? Yeah. What episode? Uh, the episode with where they become chefs, which I think was the first episode of the series. I thought it was quite weak. It was funny, but it was still weak. That has some of the... I'm, so, I'm saying... I'm still Give saying... It. I'm still Give saying... I'm, wait, 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 wait. I'm still saying it's a great episode of TV. But, it, but we're at such a high standard at this point with The Walking Dead suddenly doing this shit. It's also been nominated for uh, TV award there nominations. There are issues with it, though. Of course, it's, but it's still amazing. Oh, no, of course it is, man. But... Um... Yeah, it's not. I, I just wouldn't class it as the best television ever. Look, like, I may have rewatched it seven times. I can't wait to get it on Blu-ray. Oh, it's gonna look beautiful. I'm try- okay, risk. so I don't know where to start. <laughs> let's 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 just talk about the final episode. The final episode. Okay, we'll start with the final episode. Or, or, or should we talk? No, I want to talk about the last two episodes. The last two final episodes because we have very spoken linked, about them they? together. Yeah. Okay. Um, seven and eight. Glenn and Glenn being tortured. That's in the final episode. That's not in the final episode. Fuck, it's not it's in the, final in the episode. second final episode. Oh, okay, yes. yes. So Glenn, Glenn and what's her name get captured. I, I don't know her name. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't, like, they don't Maggie. Miss. Whoops. Maggie, yes. <laughs> but no, um, Glenn and Maggie get captured by Woodbury, the Woodbury camp. Yeah, which is um, the governor. Controlled by the governor. And um, Merle. And Merle. Merle the Regnick. But, yeah, and they get captured and... They get fucked up, man. Glenn, Glenn gets fucked up. Like he, I didn't realize actually how much he loved that group because he literally has to fight off a walker yeah. tied his, to a chair with his hands his, tied after getting the shit kicked out of him. Like he must have a couple of broken bones after because yes. he's being punched with a metal like. Yeah, his plank. face is great. The effects, the makeup was superb. So, man. The, but looked, when he fights that walker in the cage, like it was so intense because honestly, yeah. he was dead. Like I was like. <gasps> And it's just like, like throwing the chair around and yeah. oh the cool bit though is like a, did you see the Assassin's Creed reference? Everyone's saying it's an Assassin's Creed reference. No. You know he's got his arms tied to the yeah. chair and he breaks it off and he shoves it through the zombie's head. Yeah. It's like how they do it in the AC, uh, AC series where he just uh, like <laughs> and pulls it. It was awesome. Just little, I just loved it. There. And we got um and Michonne obviously meeting up with the, the main group. Yes. Uh, uh, um, where she passes out and Rick comes out and says, I... Rick really does not trust people anymore. Well, dude, Which look is what happened great. last time they I trusted love it. people. I'm so glad that they trust, look, he, he trust spent an people. entire season, an entire year pretty much, of in, in their context, trusting Shane, and it always got him killed. Yes, repeatedly. So you can understand why he 
doesn't trust people. I love anymore. I love how he's not he stopped trusting people because I I, I he, he, he was too the, trustworthy. I think at one Michonne point. was still a bit like if if they saved me, dragged me into the prison, locked me in there, and said we're keeping you here. She, he, he wasn't dick about it. He said it, it's safer for us and and our group if we keep you in and here. And give me your sword. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty sword. fair enough. And then he says we'll give you food and water. Hey, I've just been on my own. Loads of walkers have pretty much nearly killed me. You say me, you're giving me food and water and me- and medicine and medicine. Like she would have died. I'm just, I'm gonna say, whatever you have to do, guys, just give me. Just yeah, give me and some also water. like the idea of taking the sword away. I was just yeah. going, well, surely they could just take your sword away, and if they start like going, we're gonna kill you. You just go, well, I won't tell you who your friends are until yeah. you give my sword back. Fair yeah. enough, you're sorted then. This group of people with kids. See, that's the thing. If you notice, a lot of looter groups and stuff very rarely have children. Yeah. I think as soon as I saw a child or a lot of girls Ooh. in the group, I would be a little bit less threatened by them. Absolutely. I think... Even the, though uh, Carl's become a complete badass, and I'm pretty sure yeah. he could handle his own, he's going to be a badass, like a, a badder ass version of Rick. Yes. He's going to be like Rick and Daryl combined. combined with a little bit Michonne thrown in. Yes. It's going to be but fantastic. I think, um, here's a question for you then, based on what you're saying about the uh, kids mm. and girls. How much of your decisions were in the Walking Dead video game were based on the fact that you had Clementine? Because oh, I would have been so much more of an arsehole if I didn't have oh, Clementine yeah, to look yeah. after. But you kind of think, she's, I, I've got her, I, I, I just can't do it in front of her. I have to make sure this kid is protected to an extent. Mm. I can't reveal the true horrors to her yet. It's like that, but, um, spoiler for the Walking Dead game here. You know where they've come across that car full of supplies and stuff? Did yeah. you steal from it? Of course. I didn't steal from it. I decided not to because Clementine was so upset. No, but I explained to her. I, I didn't just say it's because it's ours. I reasoned with her and she remembered that. Uh, okay, I, I, I said no. You didn't take the supplies. Uh, no, everyone else did. Me and Clementine didn't. Oh, wait, I think I did that. We stepped back and did nothing and just said it's not right, stop doing it. But everyone else still took all the supplies. So you got the supplies, but you got the, the trust of Clementine by the fact that you didn't physically do it. Oh wait, I think I did that. I, I, I don't know why, but I thought if you didn't take them, then no one would. Then the group would I get thought that would have happened as well. But I was like, I ain't stealing from Clementine. Oh, fair enough. Hmm. But, just this, just, ah, oh, the overall series, like, yes. with this episode where Glenn's being tortured, the bit with the governor and Maggie is intense. incredibly intense My heart and uncomfortable. My pacing, man. And I was like, oh, how cool, like, how, shit. like, chilled about it. He's like, take your top off or I'll bring Glenn Sand in here. Yeah. Like, I honestly so, thought she was yeah. going to get raped. That, like, yeah. I literally thought they were going to push it that far. Like, I'm glad they did. I'm, see, it kind of shows, though, how clever the governor is by the fact that he made it look like she had been raped. So Glenn was more likely to give in. Because Glenn clearly at this point didn't give a, a fuck about, about his himself. own regard. Yeah, he didn't care. But obviously, he would die for the group. He would die for the group. He's got that, especially now T Dog's had such an honourable death. Mm. He kind of admired him, and Glenn would be like, "Fuck it, I'm not risking anything." But as soon as you, a, a girl, you know, and Rick did say to him, "It's like everyone would have done the same in your situation." So yeah, that, that, I love that. He's like, "I'm sorry, we told him where it is. That's fine, man. Don't worry about it." He's like, "Shut up. We've got bigger things to deal with." Yeah. Basically, fair enough. Like. I think Rick would give it up if, like, um, Laurie or... Yeah, but that bitch is dead now, so... Carl, then. If Carl was yeah, in trouble, yeah. he would give up anything, I think. Yeah. He would do anything for that kid, but... Like, the bit that bit was where they find out where the prison is and stuff, and I was going, oh, shit, they're going to storm the prison while Rick and the other... Michonne, yes. Rick, Michonne, Chris, I think it is. Is it Chris, the big black guy? What's his name? I think they said Chris. It was oh, like, no. Chris X, sorry. Yeah. The, guy, the black guy from the prison... Oh god, I can't remember his name. And yeah. Daryl yeah. break into the Oh the Storm comp- on Woodbury is oh my up god. there with the Storm on Summerfield it in was, Hot Fuzz. It was amazing. <laughs> Daryl just every episode I love that guy more. More more and more and more. Like he just like in like they took that Oh guy. and he has sorry to interrupt, but I just remember yeah. he has the conversation with uh with Rick, doesn't he, on the way. Mm. And he was saying thank you and he says this is what we do and everything. And they had kind of a little heart to heart. Car- Carl as well. Yeah. The way he, he's reacting to Carl. Yeah. When Carl's mum died. And the baby. Mm. I'm getting supplies, I'm not losing this fucking baby. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's incredible. He's like, no. Oh, fuck this. That was the... Uh, <laughs> and he had the 
poncho and the, the bike and, 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 he, and he was just like yeah I'm a badass and I could have been in prison but I'm still a really nice guy inside and it's amazing <laughs> oh mate oh shit <laughs> spilt some on myself I got that excited there was one scene though that didn't make any fucking sense okay where they're in the woods well, in, the, in, the fir- in the final one uh, in the second final yeah. where they're, about, they're heading to Woodbury where they're wa- running through the woods and they find out there's too many walkers yeah and they run to their cabin and it's like like crazy guy in there with yeah. the dog who thinks it's the police or something who still thinks it's the police I'm just like dude it's been like they, two oh, years a year no, it's, yeah. it's been a year yeah like ten months so it's round then so and he's still like even if you're crazy if he was that crazy that he couldn't work out what's going on he would have been bit yes or be dead he would have gone up to a well he thought it was a police officer and said excuse me what's going on here yeah <laughs> and Michonne was shit she, he, she fucking killed him like she was like he's too loud dead and <laughs> to be fair Michonne's a badass <laughs> she has to admit she's I personally couldn't cool. have done it but if one of the group members did it I'd be like it had to be done I thought Daryl was going to be the one to put the arrow through his head yeah but he de- almost did he was like tempted you could see yeah but yeah the storm on Woodbury with them in the final episode where um, I honestly thought oh sorry just slightly <laughs> off track Glenn where he, he breaks the walker's arm to get the bone out for like a shank Yes, and he goes to fuck him up. <laughs> and he tries to get Merle, but Merle like, beats the shit out of him, obviously, because yeah. he's very weak at this point. Yeah. But, oh. Yeah, it was bad. Like, how clever is that? Like, yeah. to break the guy's arm, pull the, the arm out, and he's got a sharp thing, which is, if it doesn't kill him, it's going to infect them. Yeah, and it's like, it's it's not, I've just been beaten up. I could actually reason with them and maybe get out of this now. I'm now I've told them, them I'm, they fucked kill me him, up. They're back. risking my group. I'm going to fucking kill you guys. We're going to kill him and get back. rape my chick. But I do find it interesting how um, how they went they went into Woodbury, what, kind of going in the non-lethal force. They went in in a very lethal force. No, no, originally they walk, they go in, they knock that guy, they tie him up and knock him out. Yeah. And then when they go after, when they see where Glenn and Maggie is, they throw smoke bombs and flashbangs yeah. in and just grab them. They're trying to distract them without killing anyone. Yeah, true. Which, is, which to be honest, is a, I thought a better idea because then, yeah, okay, you did attack the place, but you didn't kill anyone. So you didn't the worst you did was give a guy a concussion. Yeah, <laughs> but then they come out and go open fire at a pond. Yeah, they had to. They had to. It was self defense at that point, and I, I do find it really annoying that the black guy had to die. That's one of the questions Edwin raised, or someone raised. We'll, we'll, we'll get, get to the question. That, but they said, "Why did all the black guys kill up?" And also, Tyrese. Tyrese, oh, that with, Tyrese, his ha- Tyrese, with his badass Tyrese. hammer. Oh my god, yes! And his group. I was so happy because I know we've been theorizing the black guy in the prison was Tyrese for a while because we were scared because we're not too sure what his no, name it was. Wasn't. Oh, they, they, the Tyrese they picked is perfect. Yes. He's he's huge. Yeah. Like you imagine him hitting someone with a hammer that would break their fucking face off. But <laughs> how Kyle deals with these people is the epitome of survival. He has definitely got rich genes. Yes. Like, you know, he, like, he goes out... You know, he's like, this way, this way. He's like, he's like uh, Herschel says, I can't let you do that, Sonny. And he's like, my father would. Mm. He's like, fair enough. He goes, rescues these people, then locks... He rescues them, then locks them up and says, no, we can't trust you. We got young, we got... Uh, He's like, I've just had to kill my mother. Yeah. My dad could potentially be dead. I've got a baby to I've got a baby in here. Up. You can fuck off and stay in there. Mm. But we've helped you. And we'll give you food and water. At that point, I don't know why the bitch got so crazy. We're in a cave. We're in a cave. Yeah. Completely safe. <laughs> yeah, so if you've just... This guy's just saved your life. He's offering you food and water. If you get locked up and you're not allowed to interact with them initially... Hell, Talk to as them. such a small and actually Tyrese does, doesn't he? he yeah, says, Tyrese like chill, chill. He says thank chill. you very much he for says, help. Thank you. Thank you. He, he so says Tyrese you've got to do is what very you, reasonable. He's, he's like you've got to do what you got to do. <laughs> do you know what Tyrese remind me of? Rick. Yes. He reminds me. He reminds me of Rick from like the season early, two. The early before he killed Shane. He's that yeah. kind of Rick where he's still very much a democracy. This is not a democracy. Yeah, he's very much. <laughs> Fair. Where well, yeah. Ricky is still fair, but only to really to his own group. Anyone else and he'll fucking machete someone in the face if he has to. Fucking deserved that. He fucking deserved the machete to the head. That comic. that guy tried to fucking <coughs> two levels. Tried to kill and tried to damage his name. Fair enough. I thought it was like yeah, kill him. Whatever. It's, it's not much of an issue. <laughs> I didn't give a shit. Neither did I. I personally um, couldn't have done it, but after a year of being facing the zombies I think I could have done do you know what really scared me at the beginning of the episode though with Tyrese being introduced and stuff you know how they get into the prison with that blown out bit of the yeah, I yeah. thought that was the prison bot that they were holding out in 
And it was like after this episode. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this is what happens later on. Yeah. And I thought like, uh, you know, the, the, the Woodbury is attacked and blown up the prison. Oh, you thought that? Well, well, well you know how Tyrese get, they get introduced, they run yeah. into the prison where there's like a massive blown out part of the section. Yeah. I thought then the credit sequence roll and it, it jumped back, say like two days. Oh, no, and it goes no, through no, the sequence no. of events then. And then finally they showed Tyrese in the episode halfway through. I was like, oh, thank Christ. I yes, thought they were going to yeah. blow up the prison. But the good thing is, even if Woodbury attacks the prison now, they've got a lot more men to fight and defend the prison. The, 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 Tyrese prison, the stuff, prison is very defendable. The only thing I don't like is how Tyrese doesn't have a daughter. Yeah. Because that was a big motivation for him. In the comics. But it looks like he has a wife. So or, or a girlfriend, girlfriend. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that 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 girl gets a bit nudgy. Whoever yeah, she girl was, girl. random uh, random girl. We saw her literally for ten minutes in the in the show. She got bit rough. But yeah, man. By the way, yeah, I know I said about Black Heather, but that's just personally to me. I don't get me wrong. I'm not saying The Walking Dead isn't up there or well, it can't. We're be dealing with for. such a high standard of TV. Yes, and it's Breaking point. Bad has to be considered. Mm. It's quite quite interesting. I was watching um, sorry, what's up? <laughs> Just swallowing. <laughs> Just soothe my throat. Um, I was watching Dead Set yesterday. Oh, I was going. I've never watched. I'm watching it in ages, and I was like, we did The Walking Dead before they did. Yeah. Like we did. It, it is a very good show, very interesting. Of course, it's not as good as The Walking Dead season three. That is yeah. just, to me, that's, that's the sex. epitome of, uh, like, quality, TV series. It's like just, it's just perfect. I must I admit, I've, I've just, I've been come home from uni and I, I, I was just knackered and I just lay on my bed and I was like, well, I just chill out of a beer, watch it, it'll relax. I, 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 I don't have, I, I've never had more energy in my life after I watched that. So I, I literally, like, usually I'll watch a TV show I want to watch yeah. on my computer over there on my desk. Yeah. I put it on my TV and I sit yeah. on my bed, usually with some sort of popcorn or something, because yeah. it's an experience. It's an event. I like can't wait episode, to see it. I was sitting there with my popcorn going, oh my God, shit's about to go down. I, I shake, I shake. I get so yeah, tense. Yeah, the adrenaline just goes. I, I get shaky. I honestly thought Glenn was going to die. I honestly believed he was going to die. I thought Daryl was going to get killed, or Rick was going to get caught in crossfire. Or... Yeah, finally though, Merle and Daryl reunited. This... That was awesome though. Can I just say, this This is the big spoiler. If you want any proof of the genius of the governor, there it is. What do people want? What do communities want? What do the population want? Someone to blame. Scapegoat. Someone to blame. Oh, we've just captured Daryl. Perfect. Murr was the inside man and told his brother, Daryl. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's their fault. Oh, my God. The governor's still a good guy. Let's kill both of them. Yes. That's it. But when, when uh, going back is when um, you know Daryl finds out that Murr's still there. And he's like, yeah. I've got to see my brother. And Richard yeah. Scrabble's like, I need you here. And he goes, fine. Yeah, he says. Doesn't uh, even think, and he's shooting at his brother that entire scene yeah, with an AK forty-seven. He like Dow has see? decided that he, that is his group, that is his yeah. family. This yes. is the people I'm going to look after. But he he also says maybe I can reason with him. You know, he gets he gets a bit he gets emotional, isn't he? He yeah, slips like, out of do normal Dow. Yeah, he gets a bit like high pitched. He's like maybe I can talk. Maybe I can talk to him. You know, it's because you've just had a year. You, you know, you thought your brother was dead, and you found out he's. Mel like, has calmed down quite considerably. He's still he a bit the of shit out of Glenn. Though. No, 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 he he's still a sadistic bastard. Mm. But compared to how he was introduced in the first season, think... where he's a racist, violent. Yeah. Bastard, pighead. <laughs> a lot of that, like Worst he seems ever. like. Well, we've established that Merle can take um, orders. Yes, that's something I he think does. He can. He can be put into the, the big, order. The big reveal at the end was Daryl, Merle getting blamed for the attack, and Daryl being uh, Daryl reuniting with him. Because I, I, I knew, I saw that coming. The, I, no, I saw one of the the goons of the governor holding up a crossbow. I was like, that's fucking Daryl's crossbow. Uh, like, he didn't have a crossbow before. That's Daryl's crossbow. And then Daryl gets pulled uh, over. I'm like, yes, uh, he has his he crossbow. He better get that damn crossbow back. He does. It, There's yeah. uh, In the preview. I hate the preview. He fucking he ran. ruined it. He ran. I thought, well, they didn't show that Mel survived, but they showed that Daryl survived, which I was like, oh, that's why I previews they, annoy me. I hope they... <clears> no, but <throat> I, couldn't, I couldn't sit there and not know. Okay, fair I enough. I fucking love that character too much, dude. And it would kill me. I, I genuinely, I know it sounds, I know it sounds really weird. I it's hope, a TV show, but it would. Yeah. It, I, but that, till February, <laughs> it, it pains me to, t- to say that I have to wait till February. It's on my birthday again, I think. Uh, the next episode, so that's <sighs> awesome. But 
I, I hope they don't kill Merle because there'll be a really interesting dynamic of mm. Merle going back to Daryl's group, yeah. hating Rick because he had to cut his hand off for it, but then this hating new the hatred governor. for hating the governor for turning against and him. And almost killing him in cold blood. And it'd be really interesting unless the governor's a genius and he's just set it up so Merle can get into the other group. That's also a theory oh. I've been hearing. I've been hearing that theory. Because oh, wow. Mel didn't seem that surprised. He did look pissed off. He looked off, pissed though. off, but... But he wasn't going to fight because he was surrounded by yeah. people and they took his knife. Okay, uh, so we've gone from the Mel bit. Final bit before we uh, take a break. Michonne's fight with the governor. <sighs> Killing his kid. I thought Michonne was going to get bit, by the way. Yeah, I did. Where he went, up, he went into the daughter and was like... I did think that. I was like, she was like, oh, come here. And like, holy shit, it's a zombie. She... And how quick the go- governor... Have you seen... I love this, like... The governor's almost uh, like dual personality disorder. Yeah. Where he's got that hard sort of, like... Hard. Governor voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's got that sense and he's of got, like, banging... He's uh, like, don't, don't hurt her. Don't yeah. hurt her. And he take, like, takes off his belt and puts it... On, like, just don't kill her. No, no, to be fair, he... he if there's one thing that you can fuck him up with is his, do- his daughter. Yeah. He still thinks he's Loves real. Um, and you see him break down. It's real. It's not, he's not faking it to, to yeah. try and get one over Michonne. He's like, he's like seriously, please don't hurt. And then Michonne just kills her, which I assume she would, to be honest. I was like, why? Okay. He's a zombie. Who cares? At and the end of the day, from her point my of view... God, the governor fucking loses it. Yeah. <laughs> he like grabbed... A, he, Michonne took a full-on face punch from the governor, yeah. who's probably t- almost twice her size. Yeah. And she kept fighting. Yeah. Well, like, Michonne's not a big instinct. girl. She's fucking hard, though. She's ridiculously hard. Yeah, but think of the strength behind, like, oh, the no, weight no, behind the governor's... Bu- it, I'm surprised it didn't break her fucking face. Yeah. Especially with all the adrenaline, the fact you just lost your daughter. You, yeah. That's probably the most, one of the most powerful hits you could probably muster. Yeah. And she and, took it full in the face. And ends up stabbing his eye, which I cringed at. I don't cringe at shit. You, you've, are, you, are, you, are you up to the governor in the comics? Yeah, I've just, I've just almost finished Because really people five. are complaining, in, obviously, in the TV yeah. show, he hasn't got an eye patch. Because the governor has an eye patch. Yeah. yeah the... And now the governor has an eye patch. Yeah. So he's uh, going to be that statistic governor you know from the comic. Yeah. But, like, it was so weird. Like, uh, yeah, he stabbed in the eye. Fuck, that looked... That was great. Why didn't that kill him? That was my question. It wasn't far enough. It was it quite really... a big bit of glass. It wasn't far enough, dude. It looked just Jesus painful, though. Yeah. The governor can't really fight as well, though. Like... Yeah, he was a bit bullshit. Like, Michonne could have killed him. I, I don't understand how she was in such a strong position and ended up pretty much losing. Well, like, she stabbed the zombie and then he just charged yeah, it, didn't he? He just true. went for it and, like... But then you just pushed through the zombie... Into him, yeah. I, I would have... I'm sorry, if I was Michonne, I would have just fucking... I would have thrown the daughter to, her, to him. Um, and then... And then just... <laughs> Fucking slice both of them in half. I love, though, how she leaves the group and sits a chair in front of the door with the sword out. Yeah, just ready. As soon as someone walked through that door, it had been be, dead. To be fair, they, they did fuck around. It wasn't just me or was Michonne seemed genuinely scared when she was talking to Rick. She's like, you need me. Take me back to the prison. At the end of the episode, she was like, you need me. Take me back. Yeah, I think, she looked well, like she obviously, was actually scared. those people, they've, they've, they've lost now. Um, they've lost a lot of men. Mer has apparently betrayed them. Mm. So they lost... They a killed a hammer. lot of their guards. Yeah. So they're going to come for them. No question. Oh, no. What, yeah, the, the, the governor's going to fuck that prison up. I just hope, I just pray, because Daryl and Rick are my two favourite characters. <coughs> Naturally, Rick, obviously, is going to yeah, be my yeah. favourite. But Daryl and Rick are my two favourite characters. And I love now their new dynamic between them. Because Daryl finally is like... <coughs> You're not a pussy anymore, and I'm, I can, I've I never, stand been, I've never been a pussy, so I'm now like you. Um, I like that dynamic, and I don't want Merce to come in and fuck Daryl around because uh, Daryl's my favourite character. I, I do you know. I, I think the internet. I, I think uh, Daryl is now almost like well, he is Rick second, uh, like right hand yeah. man, second in command. Yeah, and I think he respects Rick enough. And the idea of Merle though is his still, yes, it's his brother. But he's, he, like, he saw he's what he's dick. done to Glenn. Yeah. Like, that was the main thing. I think the thing that swayed... Like, Glenn was like, he did this to me, <laughs> murdered this to me. It's Merle, by Merle. the way. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Shut Merle. up! Mer- 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 and frankincense. <laughs> Shut up. But overall, just... Just I fucking superb. I was high as a fucking motherfucker. After that episode... After that episode. I'm not even joking, I went made dinner. Yeah. Came back and watched it again. Yeah, actually. Yeah. I haven't watched it. I've never watched... I haven't watched any of these episodes the second time. I watched... 
I watched the episode seven Blu-ray. times. I'm waiting for the Blu-ray. I watched all of them seven times now. Like I, I love them. I watch them over and over again. I just have them in the background, just now and again, turn around and see a zombie kill and go, "Oh, that was amazing." I genuinely not many zombie kills in the final episode. No yeah. more human kills, but still, the, it, it was still, very intense. Oh man, it was. And I liked how they kind of like. I was going oh, like a lot of people complaining in the comments uh, in like some YouTube comments. I was reading going, "Well." Surely they'll be able to shoot the survivors trying to get away. And I was like, there was loads, there was flashbangs going off, there These was guys, smoke. We don't they can't see them, and guns are, none of them are military trained. That's what I was going to say, we don't actually <clears throat> know that these guys are military trained, they're just goons. They're not, they're, they, they said they're like paramilitary, they're like people who had guns yeah. and knew how to pull a trigger. None yeah. of them are good accurate fighters or systematic because like, I mean, military Cause, personnel uh, they're just going to fire they're going to crazy military personnel would have one shot one kill that's how they're trained you know, it's yeah they're trained to use as much uh, little ammunition yeah, as possible it's like this guy's over there so I'm going to kill him with this bullet and then I'm going to sneak around and do that they and also that. the idea uh, um, most of the people on the wall uh, defending uh, Woodbury are using bow and arrows and crossbows yeah. not many of them are using guns I, I, love, them, yeah. I love it when that bow and arrow <laughs> just Pink. fails horribly Pink. and then uh, they made that bow and arrow look like shit and I was yeah. going that re- it really annoyed me for one thing each one of those arrows would have stuck yeah at least it, it made it look like one of those like toy bow and arrows yeah. that thing was an, she said it cost more than the car, the car. that's an Olympic quality yeah. bow and arrow but it's not the, the arrows aren't designed to kill anything they're really weak. No, but this is a hunting one in America This is these are, these are designed to kill I know but the arrows they use weren't they were just if they're the Olympic ones. No, no, they weren't, dude. He, she said that they were. It was an Olympic. Like she was saying, this bow cost more than my car. Yeah. So you can gather it's around about a thousand pounds to a couple of thousand. Yeah. This bow and arrow. This this bow that she was using in yeah. the episode. The arrows were like handcrafted arrows. For you still killing. got to bear in mind though that despite it being Olympic standards or whatever, it's what well, means I, it's I'm, accurate. Means it's accurate. It doesn't mean it's powerful. To yeah, get but... inside someone's skull, you need some serious power. Yes, I'm, I'm, I, I agree with you on that fact. But the only thing is, that she hit the zombie in the torso and it bounced off. I, it it should have stuck in, in the torso. That's my. Yeah. That was my complaint with that scene. It made bow and arrows look like a bad idea, which it, yeah. they're not. They are a useful idea. Crossbows are more accurate and probably a slightly more powerful, but bow and arrows would be faster because it's bang. bang. Give me one. I would take crossbow. Gun to my head, crossbow. Every day of the week. I'll take you a bow and arrow. Honestly. It's cool, man. Because if, uh, ac- if I had time in, to practice in, in the zombie apocalypse, <clears throat> you come across a bow, a bow and arrow and a crossbow. We we don't argue. I, I would like a bow and arrow um, if I had time to practice. If I had someone yeah. to hold up and practice for a while to get better with it. Crossbow as an initial thing because oh, just, it's basically pointing and as long, as long as you're a good shot with a gun or an air rifle or something like that, crossbows yeah. are useful. We should probably take a break. We'll take a quick break here and uh, we will come back with the questions from some viewers and some people on the Walking Dead fan page that uh, commented yes. on our page. Yes, so, bad fucking ass. We'll be right back. Cool.